Well, we're going to see if this pig's going to start. I got the negative disconnected, but I'm sure of it. I can't boost through the positive side of the dead battery, but maybe they are connected. Got the old tractor here. I'll get you to stand back a good distance. I got to figure out which one of these are the ignition. Which one was the door? I can't remember. The circle one is the door. Okay. Oval one. off disconnected because it will grind out grind out ground out nope. well we might have a bad connection on the starter <laughs> that sucks okay master connectors crack right here let's go okay Pause that for a while. I'm gonna to have to check all the connections. Okay. Yeah, this terminal here is just like I should be actually taking them apart and cleaning them, but yeah, I could blame this one on my dad. He did this, but you know, I did kind of hammer it off. So, but it's not warm, so I don't think that's where our connection issue is happening. Definitely not good for it being this loose. Some of the wires are popping out here, but I'm gonna call that fine. Come on, get out of there. I'm not gonna check any fluids, we'll say they're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Here, look, uh, Nothing. I'm desperately trying to avoid showing the world your ass. Crack. That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I thought by hearing that sound. Old glory. Definitely ain't going to get a good connection here. So I'm going to try back up on here because it didn't make much of a difference. So up here, at least it's a little safer. A little bit safer. No, are you sure it's not just be like farting whenever you come out here that's smoke is? No, I'm asking for smoke because that shows where bad connections normally would be. Oh. Do you see any sparks? No. Nothing. Okay, I'll look for any hot terminals. Well, that means I was actually pulling a fair bit. I might just need to actually put a second. Logan, go grab the second set of jumper cables. Where? In the shed on the doom buggy. Might have to just dual. But, uh, Double whammy. Yeah. Double whammy here. Because the only heat I'm getting is right on here. Yeah, that's a fair bit of heat. Might as well shut that off for now. Okay. Real quick first. Might as well pause that. Good. Hey Logan, you got the job of watching this, so come here. Okay. So this and this need to come off and not touch any of the metal if it starts. But I want it to run for like five seconds before you disconnect it. 
if it's going to work. I got to pump the gas. Just give me a second. <laughs> Okay, I gotta let those terminals cool down. Okay. Nope. Have one. So I'll just put it back on here. Let's try to get this guy to actually clamp right onto the wires, maybe. How do you know battery? Huh? Okay, the polarity is marked on them. I know that. So weird. There you go, Logan. Same thing. Right. It's that for what, four years? Something like, like that. Didn't even click. Yeah. Let's see. They're fine. They're not that burnt. <laughs> but definitely, this is too small of a battery terminal for this thick of ground wires. But this thing also used to have dual batteries, so. One point. Hmm. Okay, this is my last time trying it for today. If she don't go, she don't go. We're gonna have to do more cleaning on the cables. There she goes. Come on, B, you can do it. Cables are getting hot again. I wish I had better boost or a jumper cable. Those are the best we got. They're all hot? That one's the hottest? Pretty warm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to just wait and throw in a different battery actually in there without the booster cables. Yeah. Otherwise. Do we have another battery? Yeah, these are already hot. No, I don't. That's oh. kind of the issue why we're not getting it running. Hmm. Let's take Because the booster off. cables are not good at first starting a vehicle that sat so long. So this also the throttle cable here is kind of broken up a fair bit. The line going up to the throttle cable, but I'll try one more time. <laughs> Last time. I don't even know if there's much fuel left in it, that's the problem. I could try putting the booster charger on it too. Yeah. But then that's running an extension cord which is already half outside but won't reach. They're hot. Okay, so this is on the old ground. Just decided to move over one ground. And uh, probably won't make any difference. Make sure it's recording. I have to never check. Yeah. Yep. Really 
needs good batteries. So it's all hot. Does this get hot on here? All the old ones got hot. But this never got hot. It makes you wonder if this ground cable's. Oh no, it's hooked up still. It, all the old ones got really hot. Yeah. It's not really going to get much of a contact on there. That's the problem. This one here is made out of brass. Yeah, that's brass. Yeah, I really I need a battery to boost through. That's the problem. Trying to start something with a battery that's you know, mind you. Maybe I should just hook back up that battery. Shut that off for a bit. Okay. I'll try through that. Now, Logan, that battery is now hot. So stand by the loader now. Because I'm putting direct power into that battery. Remember, Logan, if you need to, you gotta unhook the ones on the loader, so. Now, see, before we couldn't even boost through that battery. Now we can, so maybe I should put the charger on it for a while. Nah, that battery's not going to take anything. No, I'm going to call it quits for today. Okay. Okay, she's a little more rednecked up. I actually got a, a battery cable from the positive on here to the positive on there. Booster cable's just doubling up on the ground here. I might have one clamped onto the hydraulic pump there, but... We'll see. We'll see. I'll get you a stand back. See if she's going to frame some fuel. The one battery on the motorhome is disconnected, so. Turning over a lot better. Not priming. Okay, I'm gonna check if any cables got hot. Ooh, my shoe. Is there even any gas in it? To be honest, it's almost empty. Okay. Nothing's warm? Nothing at all? Everything's ice cold there for the cables. I guess we got a good... <laughs> That's a good bonus. Mm -hmm. I might have to get some uh, priming juice out. Ah, fuck it, I'll just try it again. <sighs> Bet you the accelerator pump stuff not working. Contact. Everything's nice and nice cold. That's good. Go get the primer. Uh, I'm thinking of it. We'll look and see if we got any fuel leaks here. Kind of doubt it, but it might be worth a shot. Well, I wonder if something chewed any the ignition wires. But being a van, I really don't want to have to deal with that because <laughs> yeah, the distributor is all on the back, and we got to move everything to get to it. And yeah, no, thank you. Especially for something that we're technically not going to actually drive. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't even smell any fuel yet. A lot of free play on that cable because the throttle cable's broken. Well, not broken, but the, it's getting a little, that's the camera. The throttle cable there is getting a little chewed up. <laughs> so it has a little bit extra free play. Yeah. Hmm. This cable here is so nice and cool. Okay, well, I'll try one more time. And then if it doesn't start, I'm going to go get some starchy bastard. If I can blow her sky high. Okay, she needs some starchy bastard. Okay, you might as well pass that. I'll go see what we have. <laughs> I can't even see it. Am I recording? <laughs> A fire extinguisher for this? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not leaking fuel that I see anywhere. It doesn't have any fuel to leak. I know, eh? <laughs> Putting fresh gas in it first. No, it shows a quarter tank. Is it? Yeah. But at the same time, who knows? Okay, Logan, this time you're not gonna want to put your face right here. How big of a sniff? Should I give it a 10 second sniff? Oh my goodness. That seems like a lot. That's just that's not much actually. So Logan, don't put your face in front of that hole. Should I stay close? For when he puts his face in front of the hole? Watch your hands, Logan. Oh. Okay, so Logan. <laughs> now you get to put your face in front of the hole. Come over here and get this shot because you might lose some hair. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got to show Logan. Yeah. Uh, spinny thing here. Spinny thing right here. Look, that spins. Mm -hmm. Don't drop the can and hit the alternator. You might want to get a little closer. Uh, no, I don't really want to get a little closer, but we'll see. Hey, tell me when you sprayed some. Okay. Ready? Yep. Give her another shot. Give her, okay. Uh -huh. Ready? Logan, yeah. that's a lot. Okay, spray again. Stop spraying. Stop. Yeah, now he is. All right. We missed the big plume because you made me focus on Logan's face. I gotta make sure I'm having a battery cable. So we go. She likes to search you, bastard. <laughs> No, I can't drive it now until I unhook the battery and hope she don't die. Yeah. Let's we'll find out the hard way if the alternator will work with no battery. But she's running smooth. So this thing has a set of Flowmaster 40, I believe. True dual exhaust without an H pipe or Y pipe. Okay, come grab this. I'll give it a couple of revs. All right. Hold it at the back there. You don't need to spray it when I rev it. I just want to see if she's gonna bog and die. Logan, get out of there. I wonder if she has an idiot light or anything for oil pressure. Generator, oil, everything. No lights are on. 
she's good. See if she has any leaks here. I see no leaks whatsoever, so that's a good thing. Get my hand in there. You know, she actually sounds very, very healthy. Okay, someone hang on to these. No, Logan, get out of there. These are just ground. Look at that, she'll run without the battery. That's good. Oh, now for the job of unhooking all these. Like, come on, eh? I got one more to unhook. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm uh, mind you. Uh, maybe I should just move your foot. Yeah. Well, don't pull on this one. Let's see if I got to unhook the 1,000 in here. Mind you. Wait a minute. If it stalls, <laughs> it might be. No, if it stalls, it will be warm. It'll start with the boost, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna cut it. <laughs> oh, why not? Yeah. Well, mind you, by unhooking it there, I'm gonna unhook it here. Let's hook this back, tighten this back up. I got all these other positives that are all hooked together. I'm much better off on hooking it here, and then I'll just isolate it. Hey, where'd my vice scripts go? gonna take you anywhere anymore if you talk shit about her. You're making it my grass there. And she died. <laughs> I knew she was going to do that. I mean, you got a little bit. Yeah, well, it's in a hole, and the tires are kind of flat, so. Hey, it actually moved a bit. Enough that yeah. it's got to move the freaking tractor now. Just enough to be inconvenient. Oh, she smells like burnt electrical right now. Wow. Huh? Well, are all of them cracked? Or? Hey, look, it is leaking. This is definitely leaking oil or something. 
Oh, she has pressure. That means there's some water in there, right? Yep, I hear it. I hear it too. I knew she would be good. Just kind of clear in case it goes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I should be able to just boost it normally, technically, with one set of booster cables, which disappeared? What the fuck? No. Oh. Well, You're not meant to film this. I do it completely the opposite of what everyone says. <laughs> you know, people hate that. Well, you know what? If it works, and then it works. Yeah, well, this is a bad connection. Watch the red one, Logan. That's when he might have to isolate if it falls off. Yeah. Okay, probably. Yeah, it should be okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Try the other ground first. Makes sense. That's the spare ground that never got used, so it should not be corroded. Nope. Twice as bad. Okay, so the positive then is not getting a very good connection. Not quite, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I even got to hook all the wires back up on this tractor to lift the bucket to move it. <laughs> well, it's going to take a while. I that was that bad. Hey, wait, I could have literally drove it. Uh, yeah, what are you doing? Recording so hard. Yeah, I recorded you moving. Mm -hmm. I could pause it now if you like. Oh, yeah, it's going to be quite some time. It was fucking very. Oh, that's why my phone is all full of them. Okay, one cable for the ground. We'll see what happens. Okay, definitely going to need a few more ground cables and maybe another positive. Okay, doubling up the grounds. Just one cable. Let's see what happens. Okay. You didn't even need to start, you bastard. Oh, it won't now. It's warm. The problem is, when you don't have a battery hooked up to it, the alternator is what's responsible to keep it running. That's the problem. Okay. So, which means it'll stall a lot easier with uh, the alternator creating spark and nowhere to store it. But, I mean, it normally does work pretty shittily. Please don't store your vans outside like we do. <laughs> Yeah, this battery was brand new when I bought it in uh, 2012, I guess. So I think she had a pretty good run. And it, you know, it was working good until I let it sit three, four years without even trying to start it. Okay, take number two. We'll see if she needs a neutral drop. Bad thing is, I can't even pull forward to take a run at it now. Oh, well, maybe I can you... pull forward a little bit. Right? Watch her ram right into the track. Out, 
He's over there. He's backing up. Watch out. It's a little close. Other way, Logan. Yeah, put it the long. Oh no, that's uh, shit. Drop all my hat. Should be okay. Same size as the first. Is that the back? Yeah. So the idea is the guy being called bottom, and then I'm gonna stop. Back up. That was very little break, so I got back up? Yeah. Uh, all that. Check all Looks good on the front. Hang on. Go check the other back side. You could go back another couple No, don't fuck around. Go check the background on that side. I think the board is out. fine because I'm not worried if it sinks in. Yeah. Okay, I'll give her a couple more reps and then she's being shut down for the next five years. Five years. Uh, can I fit my trailer through there? <clears throat> I think so. Okay, good enough then. Any smoke? Yeah, a little bit through the trees. What color? It's uh, like gray. I mean, I came around to see you and you shut it off. Oh, well, yeah. I rubbed the ball bags off her, now she's good. Oh, shit, I wanted it out more than that. You guys have one job. Uh, you're the one who put the plywood. The ah, well, I know. Like, she's that's good. like a six foot difference. That's, that's totally where it was beautiful. before. Yeah, this gives us plenty of room to move the pitch heads in here. But come and make sure you can get your trailer through here. Oh, hell yeah. And you can fit a semi truck through here. You say that, but I couldn't fit a semi truck through here. Yeah. You, know, you know how you'd fit a semi truck through there? Fucking right over the trees. <laughs> what? Look, there's one tree that actually it would fit without even doing that. So, yeah, she looks good. Okay. Now that tent shed has to be put here. <sighs> or maybe we should just put the other one there that's already falling apart. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure? sure we could fit two of them in there. Yeah, because one would be just under that roof line. Wait. In row? Like, I'm in a row. That's from there oh, to... two of them from here to here. Yeah. Yeah. But really, we only plan to move, move one of them, so we're good. Okay, I gotta hook back up the battery on this guy. Looks so clean back here now. I know. I'll grab a lawnmower. Uh, we got to clean up and rake and... Yeah, but I'm still getting the Gee, I guess that's not tranny fluid because, you know... You know, if I had a battery, I would have took her for a rip around the block and stuff, but... Do you want to move the patio stones over to where the other broken ones are by the shed? Yeah. So, there's where the other patio stones were. Wow. She's sunk in good here, hey? Yeah. That's where I uh, stopped the second time. She just... Yeah, that's good, uh... That's almost six inches down, inches down. Huh. 
and then the front wheel's on the way out. Well, I know, hey? <laughs> ah, we'll call it good enough. Okay, that's going to be the end of this guide. Oh, 1972 Chevy Van 30. First start in four years, maybe three years, I don't know. You'd have to look on my channel. <laughs> the idea for this old motor home is I'm going to strip everything off the back of it and turn it into a trucklet. Now you got to do a cold start. On what? On the van. Wait for winter. The van? Yeah. No, I would need a battery to do that. So I can't believe the rust starting at the bottom of that door. That used to be minty. But that's you pissing on it every time you come and pee in between the sheds. So, Oh, you're going to use old scruffy? Yeah, well, you're not using my new one while we're on it. Oh, wait. This is old scruffy. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that might end up equaling a few more cracks. <laughs> okay.